Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV here in Germany for EWA 2022. Right now I'm in the beautiful CZ booth, one of the best booths that we've seen at the show. And I'm talking with Andrew about the new CZ 600. It's a bolt action rifle that they're making in several different configurations. Andrew, first of all, thanks for being on the program. Second of all, walk us through the line. What is the CZ 600? Okay, the CZ600 is essentially a replacement for both CZ527 and CZ557 centerfire rifle lines that we had previously for last, like, well, actually, I don't know how because the the roots of the CZ527 stems to like, like 1960s, essentially. But uh, this is sort of a revolutionary upgrade and we left quite a lot of behind from those two, uh, two lines and tried to introduce really a new bolt action rifle system that will well, uh, bring the portfolio of the, of the CZ long guns to, a, to the 21st century. So maybe to start off with uh, common features of the rifle, uh, we try to build it as modular as possible. If you guys are familiar with the CZ457 uh, rimfire rifle series, uh, imagine the CZ457 but in center fire. So you've got quite a lot of features that are actually interchangeable. It's basically a multi-caliber rifle that comes in different sizes and different flavors. So at the heart of the rifle, you've got three sizes of receiver. We know that people loved the CZ527. It was a nice, small, deer hunter, nimble rifle, and we didn't, we didn't have the heart to just uh, cut them out of it. And I think uh, especially the American users will, uh, will enjoy this because they come to love the 527 carbines. So uh, you've got three sizes of CZ600 depending on which caliber you are aiming at. Uh, we've got the mini size that is for your calibers like 223 Remington, 762 by 39 and 224 Valkyrie for the American market. Uh, then you've got the medium size receiver that I'm actually holding in my hands. That's basically a short action receiver for 308 Winchester, 6 Creedmoor, 6.5 Creedmoor or 6.5 PRC. And then you've got long action receiver for your 3006 Springfield 8x57 IS or 300 WinMac. And uh, just to make things uh, even more, uh, let's say, resourceful, uh, we did not stick just for the classic steel receiver, uh, but we also are offering a aluminum receiver, uh, which is anodized and you can see it here on the model Alpha. Uh, this type of receiver has already integrated Picatinny rail on the front and rear part of the, of the receiver for easy attachment of the scopes. On the steel receiver you've got your standard Remington 700 SA LA uh, interface for attaching the same or the Picatinny rail. So, You've got three sizes, two types of receivers. Well, using the aluminum receivers actually required one significant design change. As you probably know, the 527 and 557s were locking the bolt into the receiver. This would not be possible, of course, with the dual aluminum because right. it's a uh, fairly soft material. Therefore, we just scrapped this type of, uh, type of locking and went into direct locking into barrel. We don't have any, uh, any sort of O-ring. Uh, the locking is machined right into the barrel itself, which allows us for both the receiver and actually the multi-caliber possibilities of the rifle. As you can see here, uh, we've got changeable bolt head that allows to change your calibers within the size of the receiver. So that means you can go from 308 Winchester to 6.5 Creedmoor, and in that case, the only thing you actually need to do is to change the barrel, because everything else remains the same, in case you are switching for a cartridge that had a different uh, diameter of the bottom part, uh, you also change the bolt head, but it, everything is doable on user level, it's fairly quick and it's easy to do. We also change the bolt travel. Previously we had like the standard more than 19, 90 degrees of the bolt travel, now we've got 60 degrees, which makes the cycling quicker, more, uh, more convenient, and especially uh, prevents from obstruction with rifle scope. As for barrels, we are now having uh, three uh, barrel profiles. This one you can see is actually the middleman, the semi-heavy barrel. Uh, then we've got a fin wall barrel, like a standard American, which we are offering both with and without mechanical sides. And then you've got a varmint barrel. Uh, the barrel lengths are dependent on the caliber size, uh, sorry, yeah, caliber, uh, but maybe in the future there will be also perhaps uh, different lengths for different calibers. I, I mean, at this point, sky is the limit. Uh, I hope the system will, will be here with us at least for 10 years or so. 
Allbirds are threaded. Uh, for the American market, we are going with uh, threading of one half by 28 or 5A by 24, depending on the profile. Right. Yeah, we are now guaranteeing accuracy out of the uh, out of the company. So for uh, the semi -heavy, semi heavy barrel and the fin ball barrels, we are guaranteeing uh, sub one MOA uh, precision, oh, wow. okay. uh, which we are testing on 100 meters with uh, free sh uh, free shot group. Mm -hmm. uh, for the barman barrel, actually, we are guaranteeing 0.75 accuracy shot on uh, 100 meters with five group. Uh, as for the trail model which is using a uh, slightly shorter barrel and is generally use, uh, used as a fun gun or like backpacker has got the PDW stock and will be used uh, with 7.62x39 here we are guaranteeing uh, two MOA okay. but granted with a good ammunition and good shooter these rifles are capable of so much more. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, let's get back to the common features. Also, a pretty cool feature when I get a little bit back to the bolt is that we are reintroducing the controlled feeding to our, uh, our centerfire rifles. You had this in 5.27, you didn't have this on 5.57, and you had this in 5.50, which has been uh, considered a really venerable rifle. So this is a little bit innovative uh, approach where we've got a short extractor uh, with spring-loaded ejector. So uh, essentially, once you get the cartridge to the uh, uh, to the bolt out of the out of the magazine, uh, it's controlled and you can swing it back and forth as, as you please. And once uh, once you shot it and you are uh, you are about to eject it, you travel at the end of the bolt travel and by the amount of force you are using, you actually decide how quick the cartridge will eject. And here you can see a, uh, a patented feature actually, and this is the vertical safety we are having. As you can see here on the top. Uh, the safety is sort of a cross bolt, but it goes vertically up, and down, up yeah. and down. Yeah, yeah. So if you push down, you are disengaging the safety. If you push up, uh, the safety is on, as you can see on the white color. And uh, the good thing is, it's uh, well, it's quite natural if you are aiming down your sights and you are almost ready to fire. The only thing you need to do is actually push down the uh, push down the thumb, and you are ready to go. Let's talk magazines. Uh, we've got proprietary magazines for the hunting models of the CZ600 that take up mostly five rounds, mm -hmm. even in calibers like 308 Winchester, which is not that common. And uh, the magazines are mostly universal. You always have inscribed which caliber they are for. And as I said, generally 5 plus 1 is the capacity of the rifle, with the exception of 6.5 PRC and 300 Win Winchester Magnum. Those cartridges are rather thick, so those are three round magazines, but they are still the same ones. Uh, we are inserting the magazine a little bit specific way because it's actually locking both front and rear side to ensure uh, the magazine is not wobbling and uh, fits very smoothly. So the best practice to do this is to push on the rear side, then front side, and once it clicks, you know positively that it's inserted well. We, it's sort of like a AK-47, but backwards. Right. And uh, a small nice feature is that you can actually lock the magazine into place, thus disengaging the, dis disengaging the release, and you can feed it just like your standard box magazine rifle from the ejection port. Okay, and last uh, common feature, and actually my favorite one, is the adjustable trigger. Uh, of course, uh, adjustable trigger uh, for uh, trigger pull, but the nice thing is you can actually do this without dis disassembling the rifle, without removing the stock. There is a small controller right in front of the, uh, of the trigger shoe with four positions, which is dotted one to four dots. And you, the only thing you need is 1.5 millimeter Allen key. You stick it in, rotate it 90 degrees, clockwise, counterclockwise, it's all the same. And you are switching to another position. So the lightest position, the single dot, is 60 to, uh, sorry, 600 to 650 grams, which would be about a pound, I think. And you are going with uh, 250 gram increments to 1.3 kilograms. So basically any option for like your any hunting situation be it like precision shooting from uh, from high stand or a little bit heavier trigger for your driven hunts so i think that's most of the common features of the 600 so now it would be probably a good thing to discuss the de uh, discuss the details of the models yes absolutely let's do that okay so 
while we are at it, let's begin with alpha. Uh, this is sort of our entry model for the, for the CZ600 series. It's meant as a workhorse rifle for your everyday hunter that needs to operate no matter the weather uh, in rough conditions. So we've got uh, this nice uh, polymer fiber reinforced stock with uh, interchangeable uh, grip panels. These are, uh, these are mostly for better grip, uh, better handling with uh, muddy hands, dirty hands, and the rest of the stock uh, has our, uh, by this time, favorite uh, coating of soft touch, which gives it nice silky, uh, nice silky uh, yeah, touch. Uh, it features the aluminum receiver with Picatinny rail, the semi-heavy barrel, uh, so it keeps the, uh, keeps the uh, rifle fairly lightweight for, uh, for everyday carrying. And yeah, it's generally- A good all around, yeah, exactly. utilitarian rifle. Exactly, no, uh, no bullshit rifle gets the job done. And how much does this one cost? Well, that's depending, uh, depending on the region, so yeah. So okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, and let's go to the 600 Lux. Uh, which is your traditional European style hunting mm -hmm. rifle with the nice uh, stock with uh, Turkish walnut, uh, the fiscal checkering, uh, decorative nubble tip made of laminated wood, and most importantly, steel receiver with the Remington 700 interface as we were, uh, as we were discussing, light profile barrel uh, with, and mechanical sights that can be detached in case you will need to use over barrel uh, silencer. Uh, both the front and the rear side uh, have a fiber optic for better visibility and are adjustable both for elevation and windage. That's a really good looking rifle. I'm not even into kind of like the whole wood look, but yeah. that is, uh, it's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, every time you, you put a Turkish walnut on the, on the rifle, you basically cannot make a wrong, uh, wrong choice. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this, is, uh, this is, as I said, the Europe European style. So you've got the Bavarian Kump, uh, which is mostly being used with the mechanical sides. However, the height of the Kump is also suitable for using with, uh, with scope rings. So uh, either, either style of using should be just fine for the user. Okay, Andrew, let's move on to the next one. Right. Well, this is CZ600 Ergo. It features the same receiver as uh, CZ600 Alpha, that means the dual aluminum, and it also uses the fin wall barrel that we have seen on the Lux, but without mechanical sides. Combined with the thumb hole stock with, again, interchangeable softened grips mm -hmm. for, uh, for easy, uh, for better ease of use. This rifle, in all configurations, including the 300 Winchester Magnum, stays between 2.9 kilograms. So it is really a lightweight rifle, uh, ideal platform for mountain hunting, or just uh, like uh, every day uh, every day and all day carrying uh, through the woods. All right, and then this one, I think is kind of cool here. Yeah, in yeah, fact, yeah. I hope I can get a copy for t and &E, because I would actually, not a big bolt action guy, but I, Love this. Yeah, Tell can, us about this one. I can imagine you were looking forward just just for this. <laughs> so this one is a little bit different. It's a CZ600 Trail, and it still uses the same bolt system and barrels like the CZ600 hunting models. However, uh, because this is rifle that is meant for backpackers, uh, survivalists, preppers, and uh, and people that generally like the adventure rifles, we are using more sort of military or modern sporting rifle features on this rifle to make it more convenient for like uh, the modern users. So we've got actually AR-15 magazines for caliber 223 Remington or brand two magazines for caliber 762 by 39 which means uh, they are not uh, compatible as far, uh, as far as chassis goes with the rest of the rifle, but you can still change your barrels, you can still change your bolt heads and uh, everything, uh, everything else. As you can see, the safety I was talking previously about moved to the side, it's ambidextrous, and it uses the same levers we have on brand two rifles. So this button now can operate the collapsible stock, which has four positions. So there's the collapsed one, First, second, third. Uh, it features your standard AR-15 uh, pistol grip. So I can just change it out to whatever I want. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can you can slap any of your uh, of your like. Uh, but I think the uh, the one we are providing is uh, quite nifty because we are all, uh, we also have interchangeable backstraps that are compatible with CZP09 series. Uh, you also have uh, ambidextrous magazine release. 
and uh, the chassis that is uh, made uh, again from uh, glass uh, fiber reinforced polymer is connected to the aluminum receiver with over the top Picatinny rail and a very nice and subtle uh, aluminum forend that also has MLOC interface for attaching. Yeah, various, uh, various accessories. And this one's threaded also in half by 28, right? Yes. So you guarantee a 2 MOA accuracy with this one, right? Yeah, that's true. But that's mostly because of the 762 by 39 right, caliber. Right. Because, you know, people are shooting uh, caliber of all sorts, be it... Uh, be it terrible, yeah, Chinese terrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's horrible. The, uh, the rifle can do it. The rifle can withstand it. Uh -huh. uh, but, you know, you need to expect uh, the accuracy with such, uh, with such ammunition. However, we know that two, with 2 3 Remington, the accuracy will be uh, far more better. And mm -hmm. I think... I might uh, give this one in. We are already working on 300 blackout for this one. So oh, here's, uh, here's one to your American guys. Yeah, I would love that. <laughs> and finally, let's talk about the CZ600 range. Uh, apart from trail model, uh, these three models are mostly for hunting. But uh, this one is more your target shooting, long range shooting, bench rest rifle. But of course, uh, there are people who can definitely use this for long range hunting scenarios or mountain hunting, because this is the epitome of precision in C600 uh, portfolio. So we've got the steel receiver for extra, uh, extra rigidity uh, with the Remington 700 interface again. Uh, we've got the Varmin barrel with the guaranteed accuracy of 0.75 MOA, shot with uh, five shot groups on 100 meters. And uh, you've got your oversized bolt knob for uh, smoother operation of the, of the bolt. Uh, of course, uh, main part of the target rifle is always the stock. So we've got laminated wood uh, stock here, uh, which got quick adjustable cheek piece. You just loosen the screw, adjust the cheek piece to your likings and tighten it back up. Uh, you've got short uh, Picatinny relay segment for using monopod. You got two sling swivel studs in front to use your Harris bipod or any adapt adapter for a Picatinny. And you also got QD sling sockets on both sides of the forehand and butt pad uh, for carrying on prolonged uh, distances. The pistol grip is almost 90 degrees vertical. It's stippled and the rear part of the butt pad is contoured for using with your supportive hand or uh, hunting sticks. Well, Andrew, thank you so much for walking me through all this. You did a great job with it. No I mean, that was, you know a lot about this series of guns, and I think that there are going to be a lot of people, especially in the United States, who are very excited about the entire line. But, you know, when this comes out in 300 Blackout, I think I'm not going to be able to help myself. So <laughs> thanks again for the tour. Guys, thanks as usual for watching TFB TV Showtime. Stay tuned. We're bringing you more from IWA.